ಬಂದೆ ಗುರು ಪದ ದಂಧಂ ಭಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಬಂದೆ ನಿತ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದ 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 ಬಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪಿ ಜನ ಸುಮಾಯುಕ್ತ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾ ಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯ ಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದೇವಚ ಪತಿತಾನ ಪಾವನೆ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ಬಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿನ್ ಯಕ್ಕಿತಾತ್ತಮಹಂ ಬಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾ ಹೋಯ್ ತುಳಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ತವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸಂ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮದೇವೈ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರಿಯ ಪತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ನೀಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಖ ಜಗೋದರು ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನ ಭವಿಷ್ಯದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದಂ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚಿನ ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲಭವಾತ್ಮಿತೂತ ಬಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೆ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ತಾದ ಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂ ನಮನಿಚ್ಛತಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸ ಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಸಾನ್ ಪುರುಷ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾವತಾಕು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷು ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧಾರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ಬಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದು ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿಬ್ಬಯೂಪ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುರೂಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಗತಾ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ದಿವಸೀತ ಬಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಾರ ಬರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಸಂಧಿ ತ್ವಂ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂಗಜ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ
गौरांगवती श्री गौरधाम सत्तासंग विरती दुष्टो व्यथा निस्कृति श्री रूप करती सजा सनातन नती श्री जीव तेज स्तुति श्री सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरी गौष्ठीपति श्री सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरी गौष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रौपाद गौरी गोष्ठीपति सेड दैट नथिंग पर्मानेंट इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड ऑल टेम्पोरि Nothing permanent in this material world. All temporary. We must go out of any attraction or repulsion of this material world. Otherwise, otherwise, Hari Bhajan is quite impossible. A genuine Gaudiya Sadhu always try to look everything with a wise conception. to understand the ultimate result or the consequence of unstable objects the other day i was discussing so many thing about the teachings of sila bhakti siddhant saraswati goswami jagat prabhupa exclusive siddhantas which is almost rare in this material world many time i was bound to speak in brindavan here and there that up to now we have the privilege to hear or go through the writings of so many acharyas like ramanuja acharya madha acharya vishnu swami Nimmar Acharya, or after that, so many Acharyas, we have the scope to hear them or to go through their writings as Siddhantas. But this kind of Siddhanta given by Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Jago Prabhupada, Nayan Mani Manjari is quite impossible. Is exclusive Siddhanta because Radha Rani, if we can find Radha Rani among us. then radha rani going to speak that way we cannot expect this kind of siddhant from any acharya it is not their fault actually supreme lord according to the instruction of supreme lord sila ramanuja jo going to go up to that point sila madhacharya jo going to stop up to that point this way all acharya going up to certain level but if we can find radha rani among us then we can expect that kind of siddhanta which we are going to get from sila bhakti siddhanta saraswati guru swami chakra prabhupad nan mani manjuri it is quite impossible the other day i was speaking you can remember one vital question was put by dronachal parvat to hanuman ji maharaj one vital question was put to by dronachal parvat in front of in front of hanuman ji maharaj about sanatan dharma maharaj what is sanatan dharma he is asking sri hanuman ji maharaj was bound to reply very clearly that krite pratikritam ईशो धर्म सनातन कृते पतिकृत ईश धर्म सनातन दिस मीन्स दिस सनातन धर्म इज गोइंग टू टीच आस द एक्सट्रीम डिग्निटी एंड ग्रेटफुलनेस अन टू द लोटस पीट ऑफ सुप्रीम लॉर्ड एंड हिज डिबोटीज दिस सनातन धर्म इज द एक्सट्रीम एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ ग्रैटिट्यूड so naturally accordingly we all must be 
ready to take prompt action to serve the supreme lord and his devotees without any fault because we are ever grateful to them knowingly or unknowingly each and every jivatma they are all vaishnava they can confess or they cannot confess it doesn't matter so naturally when we can discover our duty for each other first of all we, if we can discover our relationship with the supreme lord then automatically we can discover our duty for supreme lord the sense of relationship we are going inside our heart then we can have a clear conception about this sambandha gyan what is the relation of supreme lord with maya what is the supreme lord, what is the relation of supreme lord with jivatma what is the relation of jivatma with maya what is this material world all different kind of big fields wide so when we can discover our duty for each other especially our duty for the supreme lord and his devotees actually when we can see the whole world in relation to the supreme lord in that case immediately the whole world can become automatically free of any problem automatically so by now we can understand what is the uh, actually by now we can understand that what is sanatan dharma or atma dharma or vaishnav dharma all synonym so how we can say that they are vaishnav of those who want to identify themselves as a great enemy of goryamat how we can say then so how we can say at all that they are vaishnav whereas we can find they are going to identify themselves as the enemy of goryamat unnecessarily they are going against the paupad bhakti siddhant saraswati goswami chakur and his mission whereas they cannot identify whereas they cannot deny their direct link with sri goryamat quite impossible actually if we can trust if we can trust a cat to take care of a pot full of milk then what we can expect that is the situation everybody busy with la puja pratishtha that is called actually big problem a snack if given milk pot to drink milk if a snack is given a milk pot to take drink milk still ultimately that that snack going to give us poison and poison only poison nothing else in return so this example this case is an exact example before us to understand the behavior of guru droho guru drohi those who are against guru vaishnav to to identify themselves we can understand long before in purushottam dham i was bound to discuss this point how to detect how to detect who is uh, vaishnav and who is not vaishnav how to detect how to arrest them the siddhant is given by prabhupa prabhupa speaking if we can see that they are always going against guru vaishnav their siddhanta their activities when we can find 
they are always going against Guru Vaishnav regarding any Siddhanta Vijaya or anything. Then you must understand, they are actually Guru Drahi. They are actually Guru Drahi. They are not actually the follower of Guru Dev. They are not Vaishnav. Bhakti will talk many times too. That Vaishnava Charitra Sadai Pavitra Jeninde Hinshakuri Bhakti Vinod Bhakti Vinod Nasamba Shitari Sada Thake Mauna Dhari. Bhakti Vinod Thakur speaking in his writing that those who are going to criticize, those who are going to pass some dirty remarks about Guru Vaishnava, pure Guru Vaishnava, they are actually Guru Dhuhi. Even we don't like to see their face, what to speak about their writing and Harikatha. We don't like to see their face. And we don't like to talk with them. We like to avoid them. How surprising the case is. Even in dream, it is quite impossible for us to think that way. Whereas as per authentic Sastra Vichar, we know from Sastra Simha Bhagavad Mahapuran, Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking in front of Uddhavji Maharaj, that Acharya Maam Bijaniyat Nava Mannet Karhichit. Acharya Maam Bijaniyat Nava Mannet Karhichit. No Martha Buddha Suyeta Sarva Deva Mayo Guru. Oh, Dhab. Try to understand that I myself appear in the form of Acharya. I am Acharya. I myself Acharya. Know it for sure that I am Acharya. I appear in the form of Acharya. Never try to ignore, never try to insult Gurudev Acharya. Never try to express any envious mood, envious attitude against him, knowingly or unknowingly. Don't try to express any material conception about Gurudev. No Martha Buddha, so ye to Sarva Deva Mayo Guru. Guru is Sarva Deva Mai. Guru is Sarva Deva Mai. All Guru, inside Guru, all uh, demigods, they are there with Krishna. Chakshad Haritana Samasta Safi Rukta Stata Habba Deva Sabdi. Kintu Pavuriya Priyavatasya, this stroke you know by the Sanachakvatya. You should know it for sure that Gurudev is Sarvadeva Mahi. In that case, how we can criticize Guru Vaishnava? How we can go against Guru Vaishnava? So you see, in that case, when we say, they are going against Popat. They are going against the mission of Popat. In that case, how we can speak, how we can say forcefully that surely they are Bijacharya, Jagat Guru, not a matter of joke. How we can speak that way? Whereas the minimum qualification of Saranagati which is most vital factor is not found in them. One by one I can go on giving some example. How Prabhupada wanted to bring some revolution in our life without any self-interest. But we are so foolish, we could not understand Prabhupada, we are always busy with our own selfish interest, self-interest. This is not any question of sectarianism, sectarianism. This is not any question of sectarianism. This is not any question of sectarianism, but this is simply a question of humanity. This is simply a question of 
humanity degradation degradation of humanity should be degraded heavily really degradation of humanity how we can how we can be a degradation of humanity is really it should be regretted heavily bakshimino thakur in his kirtan giving example that tumi to thakur tomar kukur boliya jano ho more bakshimino thakur special speaking this is to give clear conception about how we can love guru vishnu i can give more example one by one doctor nur thakur given an example of dog a dog is known as the most faithful creature in the history of creation so sila sachidananda bhakti nur thakur was bound to give this example in front of us to clarify the exact meaning of saranagati submission a dog is always ready to protect the interest of master always in that case how we can identify in that case how i can identify as a disciple of sila pahupat bhakti siddhant saraswati goswami tagore whereas all my activities all my remarks can easily prove that i am totally against sila pahupat and his mission i heard an example from a vaishnav that even a ferocious lion could not go against a man from whom the lion had received a treatment when it was very very when when that lion was very very sick that time he was bound to get treatment from a man so i heard an example from a vaishnava great vaishnav that even a ferocious lion could not go against a man from whom the lion had received a treatment when the lion was very very sick uh, with some leg injury a sick with leg, leg injury from this practical example we can understand or we can learn that how exclusive way we should express our gratitude unto the lotus feet of sadguru vishnu for ever agitation how we can express agitation against guru vishnu how possible now i am going to speak the incident the incident given below actually i am going to speak once is once is slave kritodas because at that time there was a slavery system in spain part portugal greece there so once a slave was bound to fly once one day a slave was bound to fly because of great torture operation done on him by his master this is the history of this is one history i'm speaking is practically actually i'm speaking as the incident happened in spain portugal that time there was a system of slavery slavery and that slave was the slave was in great problem because of the abnormal torturing so he was somehow successful to fly he was he was somehow successful to fly to a adjacent forest somehow in the evening time it was night time evening over 
it was night time and there was torrential rainfall with strong wind blow with strong wind blowing somehow he was bound to take shelter in a cave all around deep darkness nothing was visible nothing all darkness all around deep darkness suddenly due to strong lightning the flashlight was sufficient for him to discover a sick lion inside the cave what a great danger but the but the lion was very very sick with leg injury continuously blood coming out of the leg in leg injury due to heavy leg injury the lion was crying painfully just the next day very early in the morning the slave the slave took decision to collect some herb and creeper ayurvedic medicine herb and creeper to apply as medicine into the leg of the lion from where continuously blood was leaking flowing out and not only that but also with a piece of cloth taken from his own cloth he started dressing the injury and in the meanwhile a group of a group of team searching team searching party under the leadership of his master was doing comb operation of a comb operation was going on to search him and the master was successful to catch him and to take him back again to give him a heavy punishment heavy heavy punishment together with that also they took decision to take the lion to sell to a circus party together with that they also took decision to take the lion somehow to sell to a circus party they took decision to arrange a big fighting show among the slave and the lion lion some day in near future to collect huge amount of money from public on those days in portugal spain and you know greece that type of system was that so ultimately the date was fixed up that day the slave was taken forcefully to take part in the in the fighting show thousands of people were waiting to see the excellent show fighting show and of course by then the lion was totally fit by the nurseman or uh, the slave medicine was applied there by the slave already so on time the slave was forcefully thrown inside the cage of the lion also the lion started running to catch the man to eat but a sudden unexpected breakage was there everybody gone surprise the lion when got the smell the lion when got the smell of the body of the slave from whom he, the lion received treatment then the lion then the lion could not attack him because of the nurseman received from him before the lion was grateful 
this faithful this faithfulness this gratitude was found there with this ferocious lion whereas no trace of faithfulness or or gratitude can be found with me at all for guru sadhu guru vaishnav that is a tragedy that is a painful situation one cannot arrange one cannot arrange one cannot arrange one cannot arrange the procedure to destroy the mission of sila prabhupad and his glories it is not possible for anybody except a demon except a great vaishnava aparadhi we cannot expect nobody can take this kind of you know plan to destroy the mission of sila prabhupad and his glories but still it was possible for x basudev and y vidya vinod and others therefore they are almost from the same groups but still it was possible for x basudev or y vidya vinod and others they all they all could prove their they all could prove their sarnagati unto the lotus feet of prabhupad at the beginning they all could prove they all, they all could prove their sarnagati unto the lotus feet of sila prabhupad at the beginning and not only that but also their seva mood were really very spectacular excellent A remarkable seva were done by them as a as a, as a special members of gorya mission but at last they all went against sila prabhupad they all again they all went against sila prabhupad and his mission to prove they all again they all went against sila prabhupad and his mission to prove their importance separately they wanted to get pratishta separately so avishnava mukhad giram hari katham ritam savanam naiva chat kartavya sarpachishta jatha payo i was bound to discuss this point from pad puran from avishnav we cannot hear hari katha we cannot hear hari katha maybe so nice argument and judgment can be there because his heart is full of mascharya snack when snack going to touch a pot milk a pot full of milk then the milk pot become poisonous so we cannot maybe is hari katha like hari katha you can find countless siddhant virod you can find i can show you you bring their books i can show you countless siddhant virod is there so a pot full of pure milk so a pot full of pure milk become useless when a drop of wine can be put in the pot so a pot full of pure milk become useless when one drop of wine can be put in the pot similarly somehow some similarly somehow so much seva was done before by then can now come to a flop end and if because of aparad if so many aparads appearing a heart 
when all seva done before become useless become all useless like one elephant taking bath in a nice pond very clear water after taking bath the elephant coming out of the pond and after that spreading all dust particles all around his body is very nice powder this way hastistan our elephant our elephant can take bath but ultimately what use of bath of this bath this kind of reprisal attack this kind of reprisal attack on sila paupad and his mission is really unbelievable we cannot believe we express doubt at all sambandh gyan was there with them because if sambandh gyan is not there if we cannot discover our sambandh gyan with guru vishnu and bhagwan then actual seva is not possible actual seva not possible we can show something nothing else so another incident i like to speak in front of you is from same place spain is actually actually i like to give this example in front of you to clarify is very clear idea about genuine sambandh gyan you can get a nice knowledge this is also history historical incident i heard from a big vaishnav it is also from portugal a father missing a father missing from a boy from childhood a father missing from a boy from childhood somehow only mother taking only mother was responsible to take care of the baby the boy some day when he grew up as a big fighter like his father some day when he grew up as a big fighter like his father then mother wanted to bring him back mother wanted to bring his father back by his son somehow he wanted to engage his son to bring back his her husband i mean the father of the son but not speaking you know so long he was she was not speaking anything about father now today she is going to speak all in details about the father his father how she was missing somehow to search out his own father he started with the pre information received from mother mother speaking all about all in details today his father was a main fighter his father also was a as a big fighter on behalf of the king of the country also in so fighting he was habituated to appear on stage in front of public knowingly or unknowingly knowingly unknowingly knowingly unknowingly if any aparad is there with guru vishnu then the sambandh gyan can disappear but i am giving this example very nice now now the boy was bound to reach the place long distance the 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 
the son of a mother going in search of his father. Unknowingly, such a fighting show game was arranged by the king between his own fighter, I mean the father of the son, and the son of the fighter. I mean the man who is the father of the son and the son himself. There was a big fighting was arranged. Who was just matching the son of the fighter? Who was just matching for the fighter? Who is going to fight on behalf of the king? The son, when started fighting with his own father, with sword, with sword, When he started fighting with his own father with sword, then it was very spectacular incident. But he didn't think it necessary. He didn't think it necessary to identify to identify himself in front of father right now. So fighting going on, he thought that out, he thought that after the fighting is over, automatically my father can identify me by watching my heroism. Though in my childhood, he left me with my mother. Still, my spatial appearance also can surely give him some idea to identify me. Let me see what's going to happen. With this kind of hope, he started fighting with the father, with father, very tactfully. But he didn't want to strike father directly. But all on a sudden, by the sword of father, he was heavily wounded. And while falling down on ground, he started shouting, Father, Father! On hearing the sound, the father was stunned. He could understand. And immediately, he ran and crying. Immediately, he could realize he must be my lost son. He must be my, my that my, my, he must be my lost son. Then started crying heavily. Then started crying heavily, very heavily. The spectacular thing is that Immediately after the discovery of the relationship, father and son, father started crying heavily, but not before that. Because immediately after the discovery of the relationship, his relationship with the son, the duty for him, duty for the son automatically appeared inside the heart of father. If this kind of material relationship can show such magic spell, if this kind of material relationship, relationship can show such magic spell, then what to speak about the transcendental relationship between Guru and Sishwa? Another example I like to quote here that two mother fighting with a baby. They are approaching the court and the king was in great trouble. 
great problem to identify who is genuine mother. Two mother fighting with a very nice boy. One speaking, my son. Another speaking, no, my son. Then the king was in great problem. How to identify who is genuine mother? Then he took decision in front of you know that two ladies, Matajis. Well, I can cut this boy into two pieces and give one one piece to each of you. Okay? Then taking the boy in one hand, hanging with one hand and taking one sword in hand falsely to see, to discover actual mother. Then one mother shouting, no, 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 don't cut that boy. He is not my son. He is the son of this lady. You give the son to him. Then immediately the king could realize, okay, she is actually, she is the actual mother of this boy. So how nice this example is. So, if this kind of material relationship can show such magic, can show us, can show us such magic spell, then what to speak about, about the transcendental relationship between Guru and Sishya? What is the meaning of this word Diksha? Diksha, the word itself means to grow Samanda Kyan. If I am initiated 30 years back, still today if I am not getting any Samanda Kyan, actual appropriate Samanda Kyan, what kind of Diksha was there? What kind of Diksha? So, there is big problem. Maybe Sadhguru, maybe Sadhguru is okay. I was not sincere. Maybe I was sincere, that was not Sadhguru. But of course, there is one Siddhanta. In front of sincere soul, automatically Balaji Maharaj is going to help him or her to discover actual Sadhguru. So, Diksha is what itself means. To discover someone again, to develop someone again inside heart. So Sadhguru can easily confer and impart someone again to Asisya. He is actually someone again. Dibbogyan Yatu Dadyat Kuryat Patosha Sangsayam. All infinity pop sinful activities can get vanished. Immediately after getting the Kripa of Guru Dev is very simple thing. The main thing is that to receive Dibba Gyan, Samanda Gyan, Avidya Gyan, Prayan Gyan. That is the vital thing. That's why we cannot say that the Diksha of Parikshit Maharaj was not complete. So was speaking, what do you mean by Diksha? If, if there is no development of any Samana Gyan, eh, then what kind of Diksha was there? Whereas we can see through Bhagavad Katha, Sriman Bhagavad Mahapran Bhagavad Katha Amrita, Parikhit Maharaj hearing Harikatha from Sukhdev Goswami, so was speaking through this the hearing procedure, Bhagavad Kathamrita, automatically that big, the Diksha procedure was totally complete. No shortage was there. Hence, Parikshit Maharaj was 100% sincere. That's why this kind of question, Athato Brahma Jigyasa, Athato Tapta Jigyasa, Athato Brahma Jigyasa, Athato Tattva Jigyasa. 
this kind of jigyasa interrogation should be there inside a genuine candidate for diksha genuinity should be there with the grand candidate who is coming to take diksha at present there is no system nobody want to follow the system written there in hari bhakti vilas by sanatan goswami pat nobody going to follow so they want to prove that we are more and more and more and more merciful than sela sanatan goswami <laughs> sanatan goswami you can remember i told the sanatan goswami is so merciful so merciful so merciful that even chaitanya mahaprabhu cannot speak clearly quite impossible sanatan samo biggo nahi tibu bane chaitanya mahaprabhu himself speaking this kind of you know wise personality so great personality great vaishnav such a great vishnu we cannot trace out in the whole world like like sanatan goswami pad you can remember long ago long long ago i was speaking one you know nice incident one day morning time sanatan goswami pad went to take bath in jamuna and some other sadhu was also taking bath that time suddenly sanatan goswami pad discover one scorpio which was fall down in the water from a from a adjacent tree then sanatan goswami immediately catch the scorpio and put on the tree in the meanwhile that we get scorpio giving poison to sanatan goswami another sadhu was then taking bath the watching this incident again the scorpio fall down again on the tree again sanatan goswami catching the scorpion and, and took the trouble to put on the tree to save its life another sadhu who was taking bath gone mad what you are doing in the wicket fighting you all the time giving poison why you are going to protect sanatan goswami laughing and speaking well what that scorpio has is going to be poison the scorpio can give only poison to me because the only belongings and by the mercy of supreme lord i am going to give this service to because i can see because sanatan goswami can see the whole world in relation to supreme lord that is the different long ago i was speaking in vindavan one history one one nice you know incident one set one rich man distributing kambal blanket among sadhus so there was a big queue one by one that uh, rich man distributing blanket to each and every sadhu one wicket is not at all sadhu he already took blanket but again coming in line to get another blanket but the rich man could identify him hey he took kambal na huh? he took already blanket one time that the wicked man speaking the wicked sadhu speaking no 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 i am coming for the first time then ultimately the helper was there some helpers they also discover they identify the well we already give uh, one blanket to him or no more we can give then the man going to sit in a nearby place and going to speak all rubbish against that rich man all speaking all rubbish against that rich man then some nice you know gentleman speaking to that rich man that 
Look, said G, that man going to speak all rubbish against you. They said G, the rich man laughing. The rich man speaking that I have a Kambal blanket, so I am distributing Kambal blanket. So only the property he has, this kind of character and behavior he is going to show, what problem it is. Let him distribute Galagal. Let him distribute all rubbish against me. I am going to distribute Kambal, what I have with me. So this kind of example I am giving to understand how we can arrest a genuine sadhu. How we can arrest a, you know, mass, you know, demon. Though Ravan coming in the guise of a sannyasi, still it was not impossible for Jatayu to understand that his demon, his rakshas. So, only after the development of Sammanda Jnana, Bhagavad Seva, Guru Vaishnava Seva, all is possible only after the development of Sammanda Jnana. Not before that. Srila Prabhupada used to say that the actual diksha or and so-called diksha are not one and the same. After the obtainment of actual diksha, after the obtainment of actual diksha, after the obtainment of actual diksha from Sadguru, one can get the right, one can get the right in Bhagavad Seva. After the obtainment of genuine Diksha, one can, from Sadguru, one can get the right to do Bhagavad Seva. Not before that. Because otherwise not. Because false Diksha cannot allow you to attain that kind of perfection. So so-called Diksha cannot help you to get Dibba Gyan. So it is useless, almost useless. The only benefit you can get, Prabhupada speaking, so so-called Diksha can only give you some Sukriti. Only can give you some Sukriti. Diksha, the word itself means to get Dibba Gyan. If Dibya Gyan not yet expressed inside the heart of one disciple or anybody, then it is not Diksha. Then what kind of Diksha this can be? We will have to estimate, we will have to think. Lack of Samanda Gyan. Lack of Samanda Gyan can put us in great trouble. What to speak? about Seva. What to speak about Bhagavad Seva? Lack of Samanda Gyan can mislead us to a uh, down, lack of Samanda Gyana can mislead us downwards. Towards wrong direction. This lack of Samanda Gyan can mislead us towards wrong direction. Also, you should remember, also you should remember, we should, we should, also we should remember that if already Samandogan was manifested, in that case what can happen? Also, already manifested Sammandha Jnana can get banished. Suppose Sammandha Jnana already came inside somebody. That also can get banished if Aparad going to take place inside the heart of that people. That. 
अपराध मीन कंसियसनेस कैन ड्रॉप अपराध मीन्स कंसियसनेस कैन गो डाउन एंड डाउन ड्यू टू अपराध ड्यू टू हैवी अपराध डे बाय डे कंसियसनेस कैन कम डाउन टू जीरो लेवल ऑफ इवन टू जीरो लेवल ड्यू टू अपराध बिग अपराध ग्रेट अपराध डे बाय डे कंसियसनेस कैन कम डाउन टू सच ए पुअर लेवल that only me and mine these two worlds can survive in my life also even ultimately go up to such a zero level that you know that jivatma can take birth as trees and you know in sex everything now question is that how it is possible for a disciple to go against sila paupa and his mission if he is at all the disciple of sila paupa if he is at all the disciples of sila paupa then now question is that how it is possible for a disciple to go against sila paupa and his mission maybe consciousness gone down due to aparad or at all actual dikha was there or not maybe consciousness gone down due to aparad or at all uh diksha the procedure was not at all complete in his life otherwise how it is possible for a genuine disciple to go against paupat bhakti siddhanta saraswati goswami jagat paupat and his disciple any amount of scriptural analysis cannot prove that he is disciple external symptom of external symptom exhibition external exhibition of huge seva external exhibition of huge seva like huge publication or establishment of so many marks all around the world etc is not the direct evidence of guru bhakti is not at all the direct evidence of guru but be careful this is not at all the direct evidence of guru bhakti so without which everything zero without guru bhakti everything zero sila srinivas acharya you can remember many time before i wanted to discuss this point sila cinema sachajya the great told that balavan adaru yasun shad guru padam buje srutoi ropi tasya sasastre krishne bhakti na jayate balavan adaru yasun shad guru padam buje balavan adaru yasun shad guru padam buje सुतोई रोपी सस्वैर कृष्ण भक्ति न जायते दिस मींस आंतिना नॉलेज दैट आंतिना नॉलेज आंतिना नॉलेज ट्रिमेंडस एफिनिटी ऑन टू द लोटस फीट ऑफ सद्गुरु इज नॉट फेल्स ऑल एनालिटिकल स्टडी ऑफ वेदा वेदांत उपनिषद पुराण एक्सेट्रा all sastras cannot yield even a drop of krishna bhakti in the life of a devotee or disciple a disciple a devotee who is not going to develop tremendous love and affection unto the lotus feet of sila popa we cannot expect 
That's why many times I was bound to discuss so many slokas from 3rd canto, 11th canto, so many slokas. So ultimately, Suti, Siti, Purana, Adi, Suti, Siti, Purana, Adi, Pancharati, Vidhingvina, Oikantiki, Guru, Aikandi Harer Vakti Utpatai Vakalpate. It is written there in Sastra, it is one kind of, you know, great problem in the name of Bhakti. It is one kind of great problem in the name of Bhakti. You know, because without, you know, proper Siddhanta Bichar, Without any analytical vichar, without the support of Suti Siddha Puran Adi Pancharatri, if Pancharatri Vidhan, Pancharatri Vidhan going to support this point, we are, we, I already discussed. Tremendous Guru, guru Bhakti should be there. So Pancharatri Vidhan, according to the Diksha approved in Pancharatri Vidhan, Guru is all. Without Guru, all blind, whole world, dark. Ajnana timiranda sa gyanjana salakya chakshurun mindangyena tasmishi, Guru Venama. So, Suti Siti Purana Adi, Pancharatin Bidhingvina, Vaikanti ke harer bhakti yut patri bhagalpate. If different kind of Siddhanta Vichar, different kind of rules and regulation, Different kind of, you know, you know, seva mood or can prove that he is surely not going to follow his Guru there. This kind of bhakti can never come out successful. This kind of bhakti is obsolete. This kind of bhakti is not allowed. Suti Siti Puranadi Pancharatin Bidding Vina Vikantiki Hare Bhakti Utpata Yvakalpa. If we can find there is no link of Guru and Guru Varga. If you are going to break it, break the link of Guru Varga and you know Sarasat Guru Varga, Guru Parampara, you are going to make separate Siddhanta, separate Vija, separate rules and regulation. You are going to make a new group so that they cannot come in contact with big big Vaishnav, they cannot have the privilege to hear all the past acharyas. So, in that case, they cannot develop consciousness. This is one kind of program through which you can make them idiot. You are going to make such program. So, you see, Guru Kipa Guru ki pahi kevalam. Guru ki pahi kevalam. Guru ki pa is the topmost, you know, backing without which we cannot do Hari Vajan. So, now question is that common people cannot understand the secrecy of Bhajan. Common people cannot understand the secrecy of bhajan. They cannot understand what is bhajan. A blind, a blind can never be guided by another blind. Andha yathandhi rupaniya manam teyopi sichadanda murudam nebadhya pullad maray already told. A blind can never be guided by another blind. There is a, there is a situation. But this is the condition of this mental world. Who can give guidance to whom? By the help, by the help of, by the help of, by the help of money power, by the help of money power, a material, a materially rich man can try to make or establish a temple. But Prabhupada speaking, it is not possible. It is not possible for a material man, materially rich man, to establish a temple out of his 
huge money power. This is the declaration of Srila Prabhupada. He also used to say, Prabhupada used to say, that by the material money power and effort to make a temple, establish a temple, establish a temple is one type of karma, nothing else. By the money, by the material money power and effort to make a temple, establish a temple by a material man is one type of karma, nothing else. Material man, yes. Deities, all deities, temples can appear. Only, only big, big spiritual personalities, I mean Mahajan, they can install deities. They can establish moth. Material people, they cannot establish moth. It's possible. Because before establishment of moth, you will have to invite Anantadev, in Anantadev to come and take place there in the temple. Without the Adhisthan, without the establishment of Anantadev, without the Adhisthan, how Anantadev, you cannot make a temple. Materially rich man, out of his material money power, cannot establish a mart. By the help of material money power, an effort to make a mart is one type of karma, nothing else. What can be the secret reason? What can be the secret reason to stop the glories of Srila Prabhupada in the form of Stabavali, etc.? What can be the secret reason to stop the singing of the glories of Srila Prabhupada in the form of Sujan Padu Jugam? Yugadhar Madhurandara Patrabharam. Why we are not going to allow devotees to sing this song in our society? What can be the reason? We can find in some uh, some places that they are not going to allow this song there. What can be the reason? Because they are demon. What can be the reason, secret reason? Why they are going to stop the glories of Srila Prabhupada and his mission? Why they are going to stop the singing of the glories of Srila Prabhupada and his verses and about his mission? Why? Why? What can be the secret reason to train up those newcomers so that they can automatically go against Goyamat in future, when they grow up. Why? Why? Why this kind of demonic activity is going on? They are going to invite their total destruction. They are going to invite their total destruction in near future, 100%, 100%, to avoid to avoid Srila Prabhupada and his Gauriya mission as a whole is the main objective of your preaching. What do you mean to say? What kind of preaching you are doing? Prana Chajar Sehetu Prachar, Prabhupada told, if the vitals of life is not there present in you, how you can go for preaching? Maybe you are know some technique of preaching. That is not actually preaching. In Chaitanya Judaism it is, it is written, Krishna Sakti Bi, Krishna Sakti, Krishna Sakti Bina Nahi, Bhakti Bhavartan. To install Bhakti inside others, to install Bhakti inside others, I must have Krishna Kripa, Krishna Sakti. To avoid Srila Prabhupada and his Gauri mission as a whole, 
is the main objective of our preaching. What kind of preaching it is? How this can be possible? Without Prabhupada, without Prabhupada, without Prabhupada, without Prabhupada, and without his mission, preaching is totally zero. Preaching is totally zero, can come to a, you know, a, you know, can come to a, you know, flop end. Goryamat is the only path to the Godhead. This is a strong proclamation by Sala Prabhupada. Prabhupada wanted to speak many times. Goryamat is the only path, pathway to the Godhead. If this be the direct proclamation, if this be the direct proclamation of Sila Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Dakur, then how dare, then how dare, how dare they can say that Gauriya Mission is totally failure. Gauriya mission is totally feel failure in their mission. How it is possible for them to speak that way? Whereas they should know that the Gauriya mission was started by the blessing of Panchasatha and all previous Guru Varga. I already told. And again I can discuss this point. When Prabhupada started doing Satakati Nam Jagya in at present Chaitanya Mahal, Brajapatthan. Then all Panchatattva and all previous Guru, Guru Varga came in front of Prabhupada. In that case, they giving instruction, order to Prabhupada to go for preaching. In that case, how we can say the preaching of Gurya Mission, preaching of everything, what can be the secret reason to stop the glories of Srila Prabhupada and his mission? What can be the reason to stop the singing of glory, glories of Srila Prabhupada and his parshadas? What can be the secret reason to stop the glorification of Srila Prabhupada and his mission? Why we are going to stop? Why they are going to stop? What can be the secret reason? To train up those newcomers in such a way so that they can automatically go against Go Yamat in near future. To avoid Sila Prabhupada and his Gauriya mission as a whole, To avoid Srila Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur and his mission as a whole, if this becomes the objective of our preaching, then how we can get Krishna Bhakti? Gaudiyamat is the only pathway to the Godhead. Srila Prabhupada repeatedly told this point. Gaudiyamat is the only pathway to the Godhead. If this be the direct proclamation of Srila Prabhupada, then how dare we can say that the preaching of Gauriya mission is totally failure. How we can say the Gauriya mission is totally failure? How they can say that way? Guru Drohi, those who are showing agitation against Guru Vaishnava, that Guru Drohi can get endless sufferings together with followers. Also, ultimately, 
they can reach hell for infinity period. They can reach hell for infinity period. So I like to quote this sloka also. Jo bhakti nairahitam annayena srinatiya to uho prajataha nirayam kalamakshayam. He who is going to speak opposite way, just wrong way, not in, not going to project the hereditical, you know, glory. Parampara is going to break for us, Gara, and going to establish some different things. So it is written, Jyobhakti Nairahitam, who is not speaking rightly, just going against Gurudev and putting new, new Siddhanta, showing new track. Jo bhakti nai rahita man nai no srinati ya to uho brajato ho nirayam kalam akshayam. Srila Prabhupada used to speak that the slightest deviation from the track of Guru Pat Padma can throw you, ultimately can throw you from Hari Bhajan. Common people, they are so foolish, they cannot understand. The Sarup Lakhan and Tatastha Laksham of Sadhu. So it is very easy to make them, make fool of them, very easy. Common people, they are so blind, so ignorant, that we can make them cow, lamb, chagal, we can make them, so that they cannot speak. Like in communist, communist reign, you cannot speak anything. So they are so ignorant, they cannot speak anything. They cannot understand anything. For common people, it is not possible for them to understand what is Hari Bhajan, what is not. It is quite impossible. You can remember the other day I was discussing this point that how exclusive way Srila Prabhupada wanted to send one seva, apparently who was doing so much seva in Chatak Parvat Gauriamat. Prabhupada wanted to send him to Assam Goryamat. We are always busy with external development, but Srila Prabhupada is always busy with our spiritual development. Try to remember this point all the time. Srila Prabhupada used to say that to arrest the current perverted trait of this Society is a seemingly unpleasant duty of Gauriamat. That is why it is quite natural that most of the people cannot understand the unique and remarkable sacrifice of Srila Prabhupada and his mission. Always they are going against Prabhupada. Ignoring all different kinds of La Puja Patishtha, ignoring all different kinds of expected donation and facilities available in this material world, Srila Prabhupada and his mission wanted to speak absolutely, wanted to speak about that absolute truth all the time. How exclusive way! He wanted to give us the most, the topmost facility to achieve freedom from Maya. Prabhupada always wanted to save us from Maya first, to engage us all in Hari Vajan. Prabhupada always wanted to save common people from Maya to engage them in actual Hari Bhajan. What kind of enormous sacrifice was there inside the heart of Srila Prabhupada? We cannot even imagine. 
it's quite impossible for us to imagine this point whole world can so respect and honor to those cheaters those who are in the guise of sadhu in the name of hari kada hari bhajan those who are going to those who are going to cheat the whole world we common people so foolish we want to be cheated by them that's why we are cheated you can remember this quotation by sila popat whole world can so respect and honor for for those cheaters those the so called spiritual leaders those who all can go for compromise with maya they are always ready to make compromise with maya the so called pre- pracharak preacher so whole world can so respect to them but they cannot understand the actual mercy of prabhupada they are so those common people they are so unlucky that they cannot understand the glories of sila prabhupada they couldn't understand the glories of popa they cannot understand even today hari bhajan is not possible if we are in already in maya hari bhajan cannot be done with the mixture of maya hari bhajan cannot be done with the mixture of maya because the hari is beyond the material limitation whole world going to so honor and respect to those cheaters those who are staying in the guise of you know spiritual leaders but because because they can simply they can make compromise with maya all the time you can get facility there with them but still they are not ready but this common people those they are those, those were <clears throat> going to be cheated by them still they cannot they are not ready to understand sila prabhupad and his mission sila prabhupad used to say that if the whole world going against me till i cannot stop speaking about that absolute truth standing under the umbrella of the lotus feet of my paramansa guru deva i cannot stop speaking about that absolute truth absolute way sila popad often used to say to to serve to serve the lord of feet of paramansa jagat guru i am ready to go to hell with due contact if the situation demands so i am ready to go to hell sila popad used to say that to seek the satisfaction of common people and to seek the satisfaction of the supreme lord are not the same someone can try to satisfy common people someone can try to satisfy common people which is one kind of self gratification process atma pratishtha atma lab someone can try to satisfy common people but to speak about their absolute truth absolute way for absolute way is called actual seva but to speak about their absolute truth absolute way to sing the glories of that supreme lord absolute way to speak about their absolute truth absolute way it is called actual seva if i can sing the glories of the supreme lord if i can speak about that absolute way absolute way 
for the total satisfaction of the supreme lord gaur hari this is called actual seva philip obad never wanted to go for any compromise with anybody regarding seva philip obad never wanted to go for any compromise with anybody regarding seva try to understand this point to go for compromise with anybody regarding seva or siddhanta to go for compromise with anybody means to leave something good and to accept something bad from him which is not at all possible for a pure devotee at any cost a pure devotee cannot follow this procedure <clears throat> one or two example one or two very important example can clarify this point once sila prabhupad was invited by raja manindra chandra from murshidabad to speak hari katha for three four days but when sila prabhupad went there and started speaking about the absolute truth absolute way then most of the members of raja manindra chandra wanted to stop his speech they started shouting stop stop we don't like to hear this way so sila prabhupad was bound to stop hari katha he was bound to leave the spot to take shelter at madan mohan mandir as was arranged by the king but sila prabhupad could not could not take couldn't take even a drop of water there for three days sila prabhupad was fasting without water on returning from murshidabad sila prabhupad took prasadam and water at sri mayapur Raja Manindra Chandra could not know Raja Manindra Chandra couldn't know the fact that at last when he came to know about this fact then he started crying like a child because of aparad done unknowingly by him Sila Baba told him that since i could not give anything to you so i couldn't take anything from you if i cannot give anything to anybody so i cannot i i cannot take accept anything from any so i have no right to accept anything from you because i was unable to do something good for you absolute good for you i couldn't do anything good for you you st- i couldn't speak hari katha so it is it was not possible for me to accept anything from you water or prasadam nothing also another example is very fitting here also another example i like to quote here long ago when sila bimala prasad saraswati was there with sila vaktivinod thakur there in purushottam dam doing bhajan there just near the sila haridas thakur samadhi mandir there sila thakur vaktivinod thakur used to speak i mean explain chaitanya charitamrita very lucid way in front of some devotees all people including those saj or those baba ji they also used to come to attend the hari katha bimala prasad also was there also hearing hari katha one day sila bhakti nu thakur wanted to give the responsibility to continue hari katha one day sila takur bhakti nu chakur wanted to give the responsibility 
ऑस्टि किंग हरिका था तू विमला प्रसाद सरस्वती बिकॉज भक्ति ठाकुर वॉन्टेड टू गो टू कैलकाटा ही वॉज सपोज टू गो टू कैलकाटा फॉर सम सेवा देर सो ही वॉन्टेड टू एंगेज सिला विमला प्रसाद टू कंटिन्यू हरिका था ओके टू कैरी आउट द ऑर्डर ऑफ सिलसिला भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर सिला विमला प्रसाद सरस्वती स्टार्टर एक्सप्लेनिंग चैतन्य चिता में तो बाय टू कैरी आउट द ऑर्डर ऑफ सिला भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर विमला प्रसाद सरस्वती स्टार्टर एक्सप्लेनिंग चैतन्य चैतन्य तो अकॉर्डिंग but due to his absolute speech but due to his absolute speech most of the audience started flying away when sila bhaktivinoda thakur came back he couldn't he couldn't discover the reason for why most of the audience gone he wanted to know the reason but without speaking anything to anybody he wanted to hear the hari katha so requesting bimala prasad you can go on speaking hari katha i can speak up to someone or two days you go on carry on then sila bhakti vinod thakur started hearing hari katha from sila bimala prasad After hearing Hari Katha, Bhakti Nath Thakur could dis- easily discover the reason for why people cannot such absolute truth. He could realize that Hari Katha was excellent. really that hari katha was very excellent so bhakti vinod thakur was very very satisfied to hear hari katha that kind of explanation now bhakti vinod thakur could, re- could realize that why most of the people they gone they have no right to sp- to hear about that absolute truth that's why they are gone on hearing this kind of absolute truth topics from bimala prasad saraswati thakur he was really very 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 much satisfied bhakti vinod thakur was very much satisfied and he could easily realize the reason for why most of the people gone away okay but those sahajya baba ji they took decision to beat him bimala prasad even they wanted to kill him because of his absolute speech because of his absolute speech hari katha ultimately sila bhakti vinod thakur took decision to send bimala prasad saraswati at brajapatan Brajapatan means Sri Mayapur. Chandra Sekhar Asadji Bhavan at present it is Chaitanya Math. So ultimately Srila Bhakti Vinod Chakur took decision to send Pimal Aprasad Saraswati at Brajapatan Sri Mayapur to start 100 crores of Nam Yajya Ham. Sila Prabhupada took bow. Sila Prabhupada reached uh, Brajapattan, I mean Simayapur. Sila Prabhupada took bow to follow the Vrata very, very strictly under the guidance of Sila Namachajya Haridas Thakur. Non-stop Harinam, three lakhs of Harinam. in the middle of brata 
Panchatattva, together with all our previous Guru Varga, all were bound to appear in front of Sila Prabhupada to give an open instruction to go for massive preaching of Chaitanya Vani. Srila Prabhupada wanted to speak that how that Srila Prabhupada wanted to speak the how it can be possible for him without manpower and money power. But those Guru Varga and Panchatatta, they told, you are going to get all possible helps and facilities, no doubt, very shortly. We are going to send all, everything to you. You go, you go on doing preaching, absolute way. Really so, one by one, all those eternal parsas of Sila Prabhupada, all our Guru Varga started coming to join him for the exclusive seva of his mission. Sila Prabhupada used to say that slightest deviation from the track of Guru Padma can ultimately throw you away from Hari Bhajan. I like to in this respect, I like to give you the direct example of X Basudev and Y Sundarananda. Ultimately, they all left Prabhupada mercilessly. So any amount of previous seva, previous Guru seva, Guranga seva, done by anyone, can come to a flop end, can come to a flop end if Aparad going to contaminate the heart of the man, of the devotee, so-called devotee. Who going to deny, who going to deny their previous exclusive seva who going to deny their previous exclusive seva? But due to great aparat, aparat, unto the lotus feet of Sila Prabhupada and Gauriya mission, all they fa fall down. They started criticizing Sila Prabhupada and his mission. They started writing volumes of books and papers against Sila Prabhupada and his mission. This can prove their false Guru Bhakti. This can prove their false Guru Bhakti. Genuine Guru Bhakti cannot allow you to run towards hell. How, how they can dare, how, how they dare to go against Sila Prabhupada and his mission? Whereas we know it very clearly that the Gauriya mission was started by the order of Siman Mahaprabhu and Panchatatta. By Siman Mahaprabhu, Panchatatta and his followers by the order of them. How somebody can say that Sila Prabhupada and his mission was totally failure? If at all Sila Prabhupada and his mission failure, then surely we are also failure. Our mission is also failure. No doubt. Some can leave Sila Prabhupada directly. On the other end, some can, whereas some can leave Sila Prabhupada indirectly. Both the groups are fallen, both the groups are fallen, but comparatively the first group is more better than the second group, because at least they 
לפסילה פרובעת. Both the groups are fallen, we know. Some can leave Prabhupada directly, whereas some can leave Prabhupada indirectly. But both groups have fallen, no doubt. Srila Prabhupada, somebody going to leave Prabhupada indirectly? Both the groups have fell. fallen. Comparatively, comparatively, the first group is no better than the second group. Because at least they left Prabhupada openly without any conspiracy to get, the, to, to get control over the chair of Sila Prabhupada and his title. Comparatively, the first group is more better than the second group Because at least they left Srila Prabhupada openly without any conspiracy to get, to get control over the chair of Srila Prabhupada and his title. Very often Srila Prabhupada used to speak, don't try to get control over others. This can become a strong bondage for you. Why you are going to take control over others? It is my duty. I am acting, I am acting as Acharya. Why you are going to take trouble to criticize others? To, to, to take control over others? It is my duty. Why you are going to criticize? I am there. I am acting as Acharya. It is my duty. So now we can understand the meaning of the sentence spoken by Srila Prabhupada. The slightest deviation from the track of your Guru Deva, Guru Parthodma, can ultimately throw you away from Hari Bhajan. A bucket full of pure milk can become useless by the contamination of a drop of wine. Same case happening. Try to understand this vital point, Siddhanta. First of all, we like to stop, first of all, we like to stop their mouth forever under the guidance of Sati Devi, who wanted to stop the mouth of Prajapati Daksha, the father. First of all, we like to stop their face. We like to make them set up. First of all, we like to stop their mouth, their tongue forever under the guidance of Sati Devi who wanted to stop the mouth of Daksha Prajapati, the father. She told that Dushan Parishan hi Guneshu Sadhavo Grinanti Kechit Na Bhavadri Sadhya Gunansha Falguna Bhuli Karishnabo Mahatama Spesha Abhidhat Bhavanagam Doshana Pareshan Hi Guneshu Sadhavo Grinanti Kechit Na Bhavadrishati Yaha Gunansha Falguna Bhuli Karishnabo Mahatama Spesha Abhidhat Bhavanagam Those great Paramahansas, they are great, they are so great that even some faults are found in somebody, they always try to ignore. They'll always try to help them to come up. They like to give them kipa so that they can also come up in Hari Bhajan. So, Dosan Parishan hi Guneshu Shadava Grandanti. Kechit na bhavad dishad diya. Some paramahansa is there. They are so merciful, so merciful. Even if I have yogyata vichare kuchhi nahi pai, tumaro koruna saro. There is no quality in me, inside me. But still, I have some fault. But that, that kind of fault they are going to overlook. They say, no, you have this kind of quality. You have the possibility to do Hari Bhajan. So you can go on. We are there. We are there behind you. 
दोषान परेशान ही गुने सुषादव गणंती कचित न भवा दुषादी यहा बट अ मैन लाइक यू ऑलवेज ट्राई टू क्रिटिसाइज अदर्स है नो सम ग्रुप्स आर देयर परमंस आर दे दे देयर इज फॉल्ट विद मी दे लाइक टू ओवरलुक एंड से नो ही हैव सो मेनी क्वालिटी यू कैन गो दोषान परेशानी गुनेशु साधव गणंत i have some fault they like to count it as a quality whereas some people like you sapi they is speaking to father daksha some people like you if there is countless qualities in somebody they still they like to search out some faults among them in them so sachi they is speaking दोषान परेशा गुने सुषाद गृणंती कचित न भवा दृषादिया गुणांश फलगुण बहुली करिष्णव महात्मस्तेषु अविद्वत भवान घम साम ग्रुप दे आर दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू पास एनी रिमर्क अबाउट एनी बॉडी दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू प्रेज दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू ग्लोरीफाई और दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू क्रिटिसाइज एनी बॉडी ओके स्टील इट इज ओके and those farmers they are going to they are going to show some quality among us like the example given by bhakti nath thakur in jaiva dharma you can remember the mayavadi vaishnav das first when he came to meet paramansa baba ji maharaj till paramansa mara baba ji maharaj mara started crying you sanyasi why you are paying dandavat to me you are so great this way parvansa mahaji maharaj is parvansa tapas parvansa he was bound to accept the jivatma to give diksha he was bound to give diksha ultimately his name was vaishnav das not only that ultimately Baba Ji Maharaj one day sitting in Madhavi Madhavi Lata Kunj and giving indication to Vaishnav Das that you have this kind of seva nitya seva inside Brajodam is sakhi you see look Bindad is very angry you try to take proper action so that divine couple Radha Krishna cannot you know feel some disturbance be careful This is your seva. This way, Baba Ji Maharaj is going to indicate by Shri Das someday in the very early in the morning. Nishant to Lira. So nice example. So Guru Vishnu always going to help us in countless way. And Jagannath Das Baba Ji Maharaj speaking, it is really, it is really unfortunate. We are really unfortunate. Those who are going to help us. those who are going to help us in the way of hari bhajan those who are going to speak about their absolute truth absolute way unluckily we always think they are our enemy that is the tragedy those who want to deliver us those who want to help us countless way we want to indicate that they are enemy jagannath das baba ji are crying and speaking this way so sati devi durga speaking this way dosano pareshan hi guneshu sadav grannanti kechit no bhava drisha duya gunan safal guna bahuli karishnav mahatma steshu avidat bhavanagam also when somebody going to criticize guru vaishnav somebody going to criticize pova and his mission what is the advice of sati devi sati devi speaking karnu pidhayo nirayad jagdap jadakalp ishe karnu pidhayo nirayad jadakalp ishe dharma dharma vitarya srinivhir srinivhir nevhir rasamane chindat प्रहस्य वृषती वृषतीम सताम प्रभुश्चेत जीवहाम 
नशूनोपी तथो विसृज्य स्वधर्म वट देवी स्पीकिंग देवी मैया कर्णो पिधायो निर्याद जदकल्प मीशे इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू प्रोटेस्ट हेवली अगेंस्ट दो इडियट दोज अ गुरु द्रोही दोज आर गोइंग टू क्रिटिसाइज गुरु वैष्णव those are going to criticize prabhupad and bhakti prabhupad bhakti mr chakur prabhupad and his nation then it is the instruction of devi karno pidhayo nirayad jadakalpa mishe if you are not if you have no capacity to protest heavily then you know stop your ear plug and go away from this place stop hearing Stop hearing all these rubbish and go away from them. Instantly, you will have to leave this place. Or, dharma, dharma, vitara, jo srinadhir, nivira, samane, chindat, prahasya, rusati, masatam, prahuste, jivham, pashu, asu, nopi, tato, visrijya, sadharma. If you have power, you can cut the tongue of that idiot. If you have power, you can cut the cut the tongue of that idiot who is going to criticize Pope Pope and his mission. If you have that kind of power, or if you don't have that kind of power, you can do one thing: you can leave your own body. You can leave your own body. Why I am going to hear all rubbish about Pope Pope and Bhakti Nath Thakur? Why I am going to hear about all of our, all of our Guru Varga? Why I am going to hear all about the mission of Pope Pope? Rubbish. Then I will have to die. I will have to die. This is the solution. So he told the tongue of a Vaishnava Paradhi should be cut off, or if this is not possible. then a fitting strong answer should be given to stop the tongue or if this is also not possible then then to leave the body can be a solution or even if it, you know you know a second of the third of sense that you will have to leave the spot if you cannot find any solution given cannot give any answer fitting answer then you will have to stop hearing Stop your ear plug uh, with finger and go away from that spot before hearing anything about Guru Vishnu. Also, Sri Baba used to speak that to become very agitated. Sri Baba used to say, used to say that to become very agitated in the humiliation or criticism of guru vaishnav is called vaishnavism to become very agitated in the humiliation or criticism of guru vaishnav this is called actually proper vaishnavism today i like to stop here because maybe you can lose your patience to hear all about these absolute truth so i like to stop here i can stop i can start from this point maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow i can announce so vaincha kalpa durvasi ki pasindi bhavishya patitanam pavane bhavishya bhyo namo namaha so vaincha kalpa durvasi ki pasindi bhavishya patitanam pavane bhavishya excuse me I am bound to speak all about the absolute truth, absolute way.